miss your love. It was all a dream. Yo, what's up, guys? Here is Happy No with another Guild Wars 2 PvP video. And on this video, I'm gonna show you maybe a support type of profession gameplay video. And I wanted to talk about uh, supports in Guild Wars 2 PvP because a lot of people don't know why there are there for because most of them just play DPS, something to kill enemies. No, no one wants to support, and that's not how the game is supposed to be played. Uh, we have now three supports, so it's not so good. <laughs> and yeah, I think, well, I don't know what to say, what to do. We can keep up with the necro, so I can just ask for a second. Can druid or scrapper swap? Uh, yeah, the enemy team has also three supports, or better said four. <laughs> Therefore, for the druids I would prefer a condi class so the necro can stay and I can keep up with the necro so it's all up to the necro if he's strong we can beat them if he's bad we won't beat them at all and yeah I wanted to say thank you for over 2.1k subscribers on my channel that's awesome uh, yeah what else bad choice bad choice I don't know I, I don't like to play with thieves all the games that I, where I have thieves on my team, none of them were good. <laughs> but I don't, I should not complain. What's this? Virtue of Resolve. Oh dear god, Signet of Judgment, why? <laughs> we will have a hard time against this team. <laughs> they are all supports, we, we might lose this. Yeah, we, we might lose this if the DPS sucks. This guy seems not to be DPS, so we need... We four need to do work. But I'm not sh so sure. I'm playing, by the way, with a stability trait. Just because I want to have a little bit more... Uh, safetyness. <coughs> but it's not needed against streets. But the enemy team has such a tanky comp, man. Yeah, he's going not far. Please don't tell me you're going far. Yeah. We can forget this game, I guess. <laughs> but I want to show you just some uh, gameplay here. He will try to knock me back. Uh, the Elementalist is here, so we can just focus on to this guy. Where's my... Where's the Necro? Oh, dear God. Come on, no one is rezzing. Nice. I just was thinking that the Necro was somewhere around there. We go for our healing skill. This guy seems to be a Condi player. So I don't really know what to do now. I have no earth. Yeah, we can. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, 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 we are dead. Yeah, I could have stun breaked out there. My team is bad. The thief is doing that, what, he, what I was expecting. He just freaking failed at far. Yeah, never mind. Uh, what I was thinking is that I will he heal the necro, but I was not able to. But yeah, we will have a lot of trouble here. This guy was, seems to be not on the up to date, I will say, with this build. And the others, I don't really know. I need to go to support the necro if he's getting on a 1v1 or something like that. But it seems that now he's getting. He's. He has to play against this Condi player, so he should be able to win. But never mind, we just gonna keep up there. We gonna do this. Now we can interrupt his healing skill if he's using one. He's not using it. He will use now. He dodged it. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I need to go to the other guys, but... I'm not sure if, if the Necro dies against this guy that I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> what the hell? What are my what is my team playing man? All are playing some weird different builds. And the enemy team has two FKs on middle. So yeah, this game is just not platinum level, you know. That's what I was al always complaining and ArenaNet keeps on removing my forum posts. That yeah, the the people here who play this 
just don't belong into this division in my opinion but now this is only my opinion and I don't know if it's meant to be like this or something like that we just stun him we mobilize him so they can attack him they won't attack nice I need to interrupt this guy no interrupt no interrupting yeah the necro will have a problem I guess yeah but our thief is being bad the guardian can fk on close so we can go on far point but yeah look at this they just have two players fk on one point two players afk on one point the guardian should go here we can just try to stun this guy a little bit interrupt him we have stability we just ignored that we activated his trap we can do this where's my team attack 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 i have no team wow where's our thief i just want to have my thief here we go and heal up and they stomp nice now we can focus onto this guy because he seems to be with full trap so we can wreck him easily we can now just activate earth shield they can finish this guy off and we can go on to the next point yeah I don't see our thief where is our th the thief he's here okay nice so we can go on now we can try to interrupt him he loves up a little bit so we can go oh my god and I attack with blind so bad <laughs> we need to focus this guy because he's the main damage dealer here we can just stun him now perfect timing we can do this activate earth shield and we won't have any problems yeah my team is just leaving points so okay I'm gonna run quickly on close I don't know who's there the druid is there so we can just support him a little bit and he's running away nice yeah I don't know where my team is going to he will immobilize me fuck <laughs> we do this we need to run fast on our close point wow the enemy guardian is such a wow <laughs> I don't really need to talk I just want to show you some good gameplay but I just have to run from far to close which should not happen because we could easily get close point and now yeah I don't really know what to do where is this guy is he having, having trouble wow 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 we can go this we could have immobilized this guy we just auto attack auto attack stun stun deal some damage no damage wow we are wrecked we are freaking wrecked yeah but my team is doing no job oh my god man come on this guy was twice down they don't grass what an awesome team <laughs> nor the thief no one is rezzing that's just damn it I mean look at the enemy team they just have the entire game two players afk on midpoint <laughs> and I just complaining I know I know it's not so good but I try to do my best <clears throat> what is the point of having a support I recommend always to have at least one support because for example elementalist won't let you die normally druid or scrapper can just res you uh, yeah I can't do anything else I can just try to res now I need to hold this point against those two players I need to hold it I need to hold it I don't want them to get the cap we just do this heal us up and they can just attack we can heal our ass up or not they are not doing so much con damage so we can just go like this remove the conditions now we need to swap 
Oh, 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 I won't be able to heal up so fast. Well, now I need to leave. No one is chasing me. <laughs> I need to do this. We can heal our ass up again. I don't need to 1v1 this guy because this makes no sense. He will try to immobilize me or the pet will stun me, but I have stability. And we can just run, 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 run. Oh my god, man, I hate this fucking pet. I really hate this. You see that? Just walking, he's behind me and he's just stunning. Yeah, look at this. Four players. Three players chasing one guy and not finishing him. Look at this. They're not capping, they're doing nothing. Oh my god. You see that the thief... Thief players, if they are bad, they just ruin your entire game. That's the freaking main problem. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's already decapped. So this is already really bad. Oh boy. I'm just gonna go for this. Yeah, I wanted to stomp because I thought my team wouldn't be able to do that. We can go for the elementalist because if this guy dies, the others will be no problem. And he's already leaving. Yeah. We are still winning, I mean, but this game could have gone so much better. We can activate air overload to apply some damage and to get shock aura. We can stun him. He will try to use his healing skill. We stun him again. Fire two, uh, three. And we have him here. He's just stealth. Is he stealth or what happened? What happened? What happened? We need to do this. We can ac activate our healing skill. We can attack this guy now. Go on our earth. Gain a reflection bubble. What's the name of it? Dodge his traps. Heal this guy up. And just keep on attacking one target. That's nice. We can chase this guy now, and the game is over. Wow. We can auto attack, apply some healing. We could have interrupted that, but I was a little bit too slow. Do this, and the game is over. Uh, yeah. I'm so bad. Don't look at my statistics. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What did I get? What did I get? Healing. What? Almost 400k, yeah. But I was just running too much. I could have got more over 400k. Yeah, hmm. let's talk a little bit about what I what I what I've done there. As an elementalist, because most people just think you are there to heal your allies, but that's not true. You are there to stack might. You are there to chill enemies a lot of times because your frost aura will chill them, and chilled enemies will have skill recharge reduced plus movement speed reduced. The next is stun. Try to stun enemies when they use your their healing skill. As you saw, I tried to stun the engineer when he got on his shrink form. Uh, chilling with those two skills, frost hour of course. Heal your allies, remove conditions. On on air, apply shocking aura. So if they get attacked, they will get the enemies will get stunned. Gale to just knock down enemies. This especially you have to know unblockable. So enemies who block who are blocking won't be able to block this attack and they will get stunned. Overlord Air, use it as often as possible. It applies so much damage. It gives another shocking aura and it's just good. On Earth, use Magnetic Wave and Obsidian Flash not too early. I know sometimes it can be too late, but it's better sometimes to wait a little bit longer than to just activate it too early. As you saw, I activated it twice in a combo to save my ass because of the guardian traps so I just made it a little bit pretty good and this magnetic wave can also be used more often because this is the lifesaver obsidian flash but of course you have to remove the conditions uh, magnetic ga grasp use this to immobilize enemies it's for two seconds so enemies won't be able to dodge and your allies can apply heavy damage these are some things that a lot of elementalists don't know why they are there for, you know, they just randomly use them. Burning speed to apply a quick burst. 
which is not most of the times not so much but it can be enough to finish off low HP targets uh, Drake's breath can also be pretty deadly if you hit the enemy with the entire attack you will apply some heavy burning stacks and burning with some might will deal always good damage the healing skill wash the pain away is not just for you but also for your allies as you saw sometimes I had like 70k HP or something like that I used it to hold my HP over 75% HP for the first thing so I get the automatic Condi cleans every second and so on hmm aftershock used against enemies who have skills that you can reflect especially good against dragon hunters or you can remove it as always for I don't know which skill can be used a lot of times uh, where is it where is it I'm not seeing it this one here lightning flash but the cooldown is also pretty long 40 seconds or I recommend still to use Signet of Air. I know a lot of people laugh about this, but it is a... Okay, the cooldown got from 10 to 20 seconds to 25, but it is a cool stun breaker. It's a short stun breaker. Is it a stun breaker? I don't know. Normally it was a stun breaker, but break stun, yeah. I just see it at, at the bottom. <laughs> I just thought, what? Blind your target and nearby foes? If you activate it, there should be a stun break. <laughs> It is a stun break, it blinds enemies, so you can also use it to stomp certain enemies. And it's just cool, you can activate it from a distance to blind enemies, to interrupt a single attack and stuff like that. But I use most of the times Aftershock, because as you saw, most enemies, Pistol Engineer now has attacks only with pistols, so you can reflect all of them. Uh, it's also really good Aftershock to have it against Thief players. So you have for four and a half seconds or five seconds the magnetic uh, shield or what's the name of it? Yeah, I don't know. Magnetic surge, I don't know. Uh, you have this magnetic aura and you can just reflect projectiles. So enemy thieves won't be able to interrupt you when you use your healing skill and stuff like that. And yeah, I use also the stability, what's the harmonious conduit or something like that. That's the build. It's still the same. Because I don't see any reasons to change it yet. Uh, I'm playing full aura. And the reason why I play full aura is because of Rune of Radiance. This allows you to ha gain an extra aura when you use your healing skill. And the auras have a increased duration by 33%. Uh, normally there are like 3 seconds or something like that. I don't know. It says 4 seconds. Radiance. I don't know. It says just four seconds, but normally it should be more. I don't know. It it should be five seconds or something like that. Yeah, you can almost say five seconds with this rune here. And if you don't want to use the rune of radiance, of course you can go for the soldier one. If you think you are not able to sustain the current Condi meta gameplay. But keep in mind, it removes only one condition, and it's a random condition remove. So it won't always remove, for example, if you have Cripple, Torment, Chill, and something like that. It will not always remove the Bleeding, Chill, or Burning, but it, ca it can also remove Chill, Torment, Cripple, and so on. So that's why I don't like this so much, but it's also a nice rune. Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 Condi cleans at once, if you really need it. But a uh, good elementalist player should not be, how to say it, it can happen that you get ragged pretty fast, but a good elementalist should be able to at least hold on against one quick burst. And if once you use obsidian flash you can heal yourself up again and you will be a hard target to kill again. So the enemies will focus someone else. And yeah, to the runes I use, I use sigil of cleansing to remove, uh, as always, one more condition just to be safe on the current meta and sigil of re revocation on hit remove a boon just to be annoying against certain enemies as uh, especially against druids who have the entire time stability when they use elite skill so maybe we will remove it or we remove protection anything stability protection might just to remove it and so the enemy will be on a bad position there and yeah Keep on, keep in mind, don't just hold points. You are the healer, main healer, elementalist. Keep on moving, 
deal damage, try to interrupt things and just heal your allies as much as you can. Before I end this video, I'm going to show you quickly my garderobe, Bloodstone Visage, Tempest Loop. This is this little thing here. Uh, flame Kissed West of the Monk. I guess it's just Flame Kissed West. Uh, it's the gem store skin, which has those burning stuffs. Frostforged Dagger and Gold Fractal Focus, which looks awesome. The backpack is holographic dragon wings and my elementalist looks just pretty badass. Yeah, that was it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it might be a shorter video than normal and if you have any questions, as always, you can ask me what you want. And now you will see somewhere around here three of my other videos. Plus you can subscribe to my channel. And yeah, that was it. That was Happy No. Bye bye guys. I see you in my next videos.